Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we are going to be continuing our TGC Tours experience and up to date is the Autism Speaks Charity Championship. First round, as you can see my scorecard, it was decent. I just missed so many putts, it was ridiculous. If only I could putt, guys. It really was a frustrating round at times and very decent conditions. Then on to the, the second round, wait till you guys see this scorecard, it was just a mess. Um, as you can see there, the, it was just littered with bogeys and double bogeys and I honestly lost the will to um, live at one point and I really started doubting my ability on this game. But the back nine, I kind of dug in and pulled it back and managed to finish at four under par. I then proceeded with round three where I had a far much better round um, as you can see there, we did manage to shoot a 13 under. I did miss three or four really easy putts, um, which would have really uh, pushed me on a good bit again. But as you can see, on hole number 12, I did manage to pick up an ace. And uh, hopefully you guys are just a way to see this ace here. So as you can see, it was mild wind conditions. We had a two mile per hour wind. I picked the seven iron. I lofted it up a fair bit. I was very deliberate with this shot. It was a fairly straight uh, swing light. And as you can see, we got a favourable kick and it went straight into the cup for the ace. So I was delighted with that. So let's move on to round number four, which is going to be the final round of this event. But as always, I do hope everyone is well. I do hope you've had a fantastic weekend. And as always, I really can't thank you guys enough for the continued support on the, the channel. It's truly amazing that the amount of likes and views and comments and subscribers I am slowly building up. So thank you very much for that. So once again, we've got medium speed wins. This was my fourth time playing this course. Like I say, no practice rounds, nothing. I've pushed that one slightly to the right here. But this should kick straight forward for me. And we should find the centre of the fairway. But my first round on this was the first time I had played this course. And I know it's going to be so hard for me to compete at the top of the leaderboards. Because I cannot divulge the time that some of these guys put into practice rounds. But I think it makes that much more interesting. One for me. Certainly more challenging and maybe two more interesting for you guys to watch. Just to see if a, a slightly above average player I would say I am in this game currently. So gap wedge, 6 mile per hour win. It's going to take us to the left. Look at that swing line. What is going on? Should kick forward well for me though on these firm greens. And we're dialed into that pin. Another reason I will never be able to compete at the top guys is my putting. It's... It's laughable how bad it is at times. It's it's crazy. Um, but I'm delighted to start with a birdie. And it's going to move me to 26 under for the event. 1 under for the round. So hole 2 is a par 3. But this is probably the best course I've played on the TGC Tours to date on any event. The greens were playing firm in this round. Or are playing firm. So I am just lofting up this 9 iron a touch. Trying to get it at the front of the green. And just bouncing forward for me and sitting down. But the winds move me a lot more than I would have liked. Yardage was fantastic though. And hopefully I can convert this putt. It's, that's what really let me down. The first two rounds was my putt. And even the third round where I shot a 13 under. I should have been 15, 16 under. So this is a tricky putt. But it looks like we have managed to drain that. I mean, why? I'm, I'm a bit surprised I've, I've drained that. Um, I have had to rush through my four rounds. And hopefully um, you guys are enjoying my, my venture or adventure on the TGC Tours. I am really enjoying it, to be fair. Oh, I've pulled that one to the left. Should have enough fairway to work with here, though. Shouldn't be punished for that one. Um, I've just got to get my head around the, the four rounds. Like I say, I've managed to do all four rounds this Monday morning. It's about my only time I'm going to be able to do it. 
No practice rounds. I didn't play at all over the weekend. So just going to chase this two wood as far down the fairway as possible. Hopefully leave myself a flop shot. See if we can continue this birdie run on the, the final round. Bit of a niffy swing there again, but it's working out well for me. And we should be about... I don't think it's going to be a flop. I think I'm a lot further away. Pitch shots is another Achilles heel for me. I just can't seem to to get any consistency in my pitch shots. It's a great execution though. Should release a few yards. I'm quite happy with that. Must be looking about a six foot putt. Seven foot putt. Two inches down for the birdie. Should be making this one. But unfortunately, these are the kind of putts I have been missing too often on this game. It is going to turn to the right. Oh my goodness. And there you go, guys. That just sums me up. I mean, from T to green, I think I'm really good. I think I'm, a, I'm an above average player. I would maybe even go as saying as I'm a good player. But on the greens, I'm, I'm piss poor. If, if I'm going to be honest, I am. I'm piss poor. Sometimes my pattern's hot, but most of the time, it's very average to very, very poor. So unfortunately, I didn't pick up the birdie there. But let's move on to hole four. We are two under for the day. Laser, but uh, laser straight swing there. Straight down the middle, and that's going to kick on 283 yards for me. So 184 yards with the wind in my face. Five iron, certainly in the club. Just going to deal off this two touches. I'm really relying on the wind here to hold me up. It's another really good strike. And this should be all over this pin. It should certainly be all over this pin. Come on, run out. Could stop any time now. It's trickled on a little bit more than I would have liked. But probably looking about a nine foot putt for another birdie. 12 feet, I'm a lot further away than I originally hoped. Didn't expect that 5 iron to run out as much as that. This putt's breaking both ways. Turn, turn. Oh my lord. Once again, it's a poor putt. The, the guys who are at the top of the leaderboards would, would drain with ease, I would imagine, on a regular um, basis. So, hole five, relatively short par four, but that water's in play with a the driver there. I don't think we'll get over it, so I'm going to have to go to the right-hand side here. Allow this eight mile per hour wind to take me back round onto the fairway, hopefully. It's another really good swing. And that should kick forward for me, and hopefully we can... Have a pitching wedge, maybe a nine iron into this green now. From 130 yards out. It is a pitching wedge. Seven mile per hour wind. Severe slope there on the left hand side of the green. Just lofting that up. Mm, okay. Taking a shot with Decent the swing. Oh, I've lofted it up too much. Read the wind well, but I've lofted that up just a touch too much. In fact, I probably didn't need to loft that up at all. So I have left myself a 16 foot putt, four inches up. The only thing going in my favour here is there isn't much movement in this one. Hopefully if I play this firm enough, this should drop. One six for the greens. Looks good. And I do manage to convert that for a much needed birdie in this final round. But this burning gorse, TGC Tours course, has probably been the best, not probably, it has been the best course I've played to date on the Tours. No idea who the designer is, but this one's actually been a pleasure to play for four rounds. And we have found the left-hand side. The fairway here. Ooh, nasty kick, but we are going to hold on to the fairway. But really looking forward 
to uh, my course that um, it's not going. It's not my course. It's named after me from Artful Dodger. So I do believe this five hybrid is a perfect club. This should release really close to the pin here in these firm greens. Could stop any time now. What an approach shot that is. And hopefully I can convert this birdie. Seven feet to go here. Seven foot putt. But these are ones I have been missing too regular on the tours and on this game in general. Oh my god. I think I talked myself out of that one. Lee, 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 Lee. And that is really frustrating, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm gripping my controller very firm at the moment. Just try to keep relaxed. But I should be at least two shots better off so far on this round. I should easily be five under. But back to the course. I really can't wait for this Artful Dodger course that he is making for me at my request. I think he's a talented designer. I really do. He's one of the best designers out there in my opinion. So five iron. I have pushed that slightly to the right. Just looking to use this slope at the back of the green. This ball should come back towards the pin. I would imagine this could be well close to the hole here. Keep coming. And that's a fantastic shot. And surely I can't miss this putt for the birdie. But yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. I, to my knowledge, it's called Loch Ness Early 1981. And uh, I really can't wait. I've had the luxury of seeing some of the screenshots. I do know the amount of time this man has put into this course is phenomenal. And I really can't wait to play it and showcase it for you guys. I'm hoping that it's going to be one of the best courses out there on the Golf Club 2019. Like I say, but one of the best designers. So watch this space for that. Back to this. Hole 8. Solid drive. The wind's just going to carry us right out onto the fairway. Should just be short of 300 yards here, this drive. We actually surpass it. So I would imagine that with this wind behind us, we might be able to leave this as a chip shot or a flop shot. Oh, it's a horrible swing. Look at this. It's going hard left. I'm probably going to be in the bunker now. Yeah. I am going to have a flop shot, though. That is one of the shots that I'm very comfortable playing on this game. 21 yards. I'm going to come down to the, the lob wedge. Just deal off this, and hopefully it runs out for me. Just try to set a birdie opportunity here. Should release. I've played that really, really well. Arguably looking at a three to four foot putt for birdie. And this would move me to five under for the round. Which I managed to do. And we are going along nicely here. Bar two or three putts that I should have dropped with these guys. And I do move to 30 under for the event. So hole nine, par four, 451 yards. Gonna allow the wind to take us back round to the middle of the fair. That's another really straight strike. I really hope my swing does not get flagged here. Um, I would be bitterly disappointed if it did. I am starting to swing better. I'm starting to swing straighter. And I think my next course review I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attempt going back up to the Master Clubs now. I do feel my swing is in a far better place, tempo wise and swing line wise. So 162 yards, 8 iron lofted up. Should sit down fairly quickly for me. And that is a fantastic approach shot. And like I say, at times I'm very, very good from green to tee. Bar my pitch shots. Um, it's just my putt and it lets me down. So I do have another 6 foot putt. This one's going to turn to the right. Oh, Lee. Oh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. I can only laugh. I can only laugh. I really can. Barely disappointed with my pattern once again. So, just picking up par there. Got about that. Let's move on to hole 10. Short par 4. 
Should easily be able to drive the green here. I'm probably going to be looking at a long putt though. Oh, why I'm going to come up short. Where's this kick in? Oh. It's going to leave me another flop shot, which to be fair, I'm probably more comfortable playing from this range. I'm going to look at the, the 34 yard one. Let me see. 20. Yeah, I think a 28, the Sam Wedge. And I'm just going to deal off this and hopefully it runs out. This should travel about 31 yards. Pushed it to the right. Oh, it's checked up a lot quicker than I would have liked, but I am going to have another birdie opportunity. The amount of birdie opportunities I've gave myself this entire four rounds, I'm happy about. And I do manage to pick up a birdie. And I am going to move to six under par. I could easily be, if we're going to be honest here, I could easily be eight, nine under. And I should be with better putting. So hole 11 is another par five. Setting this one down the right hand side. The fairway to the left of this bunker. Letting the wind take me round. It's another straight swing. Very straight swing. And that ball is released and ran on well for me. But I am glad that you guys are enjoying the highlight reels. Um, I just didn't have time for the highlight reel this week. I'm really busy this one. I'm on a lot of courses. I've got the pleasure of working with the Iceland International Manager and his backroom coaching staff this week. So looking forward to that. Hopefully I can learn a few things. So we're just laying this second shot up. And I would imagine... It's going to be a chip shot now. Probably about 15 yards away from the, the pin. 14 yards. It's going to come down to the lob wedge. Just loft this up a touch. And let it run out. And hopefully set me up for a birdie. And move seven under par. Good shot. Happy with that. Probably about a two foot putt. I don't think even I can miss these putts from this range. And I do move to seven under for the round. So hole number 12 is a par three, 161 yards, stroke index two. We have had a hole in one already in the previous round in this one. Let's see if we can make it two in a row. Just lofting up the six iron. My yardage should be bang on. Not the cleanest of swings, but the fortunate thing for me is the green breaks. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. Oh, my goodness, guys. We have managed to get two holes in one on the same hole in two consecutive rounds. Wow. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button for that. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. So I am starting to show what I am capable of. On this game at times. Just needed to do it on a more regular basis. But delighted to get two hole-in-ones. Back to back on the same hole. Pulled that drive slightly to the left at the top of my downswing. But it's ended up perfect in the middle of the fairway. 298 yards down. And I am now 9 under. Let's see if I can really kick on now. I think seven irons a club here all day long. The wind has really died down. Due to this downhill slope, I am lofting this up a fair bit. It's a bit of a lottery, these. You never know how far that this ball is going to travel on a downhill slope. It's a bit of guesswork. It's a nice swing. The green should turn back to the left here. And I tell you what, come on, swing to the left. Come on, starting to come round. Yardage was bang on, just didn't get the, the slope movement to the right as good as I could have. But it's a fairly straightforward putt once again. 12 feet down 2 inches. If anyone has got any putting tips, please point me in the right direction. I have tried so... This looks good. Oh my goodness, Lee. It's another putt that's getting away from me. 
And like I say, the top players would be dropping these. And I cannot class myself as a top player in this game due to my putting. It's something that let me down on the golf club too. At times, but not as bad as this. Hole 14. Par 4. Beautiful swing once again. That's going to be right down the centre of the fairway. And this is the first time I'm going to say, despite not playing well the first two rounds, um, that I have enjoyed my four rounds on the TGC Tours. I think it's purely due to this course. I think the way this course is set out and the conditions, guys are going to be shooting 13, 14 under regularly for the four rounds. I just lack that consistency to go match them at the moment. It's lofted up, 8 iron. Oh, I've pulled it to the left. It's a horrible swing. That wind's not going to bring me round. It's another shot where my yardage was really, really good. And I'm going to be looking probably an 18 foot putt here. Oh, 12 feet. It's down for the inches. It's breaking both ways. I don't even know why I'm lining this up. I, I, I feel I'm actually a better putter. I putt better when I just go with feel. This should start to turn. Oh my god. It's another lip out. And honestly, I could I could be rocking this. I could be cutting this course up if I could putt. I should be cutting this course up. I should arguably be, if I'm going to be honest, and you guys are going to be honest, I'm going to say I should be... At least 13 under at currently. 13 under currently on 15 holes. Let's see if we can get this one close. I'm just deal off in the sand wedge. This should go 108 yards to my calculations. 109. I expected that to kick on another few yards. But it is a 7 foot putt for birdie. I expected to be a lot closer than that. I was hoping about the 3 four feet range. I expected 108 yards carry. Then maybe another yards bounce. Oh my god. And I was going to say once again I've missed another easy opportunity but thank you for wiping its feet and dropping there. Thank you to the golfing gods. Let's move on to hole 16. I am 10 under. I should be better off. But that's the way it is. I'm not a good enough putter. I've just got to learn to accept that and just enjoy the game for what I am good at. It's a nice drive. Should kick slightly to the right. 297 yards, so we shouldn't have too much work to do here. 7 iron. Just going to loft it. We do have a slope at the back that we could use here. Just lofting this up. I would like to think that I'm not going to have to use this slope. I'd like to think that I've lofted this up well with my yardage calculations. And I'm hoping we're about four or five feet. Oh, it could be a bit long. Yeah. It's ran on. Just slightly more than I would have liked. But it's going to be another 10 foot putt, I would imagine. 12 foot putt. Jeez, oh, I've left a lot of 12 foot putts in this round. Let's see if we can actually drop one of them. This would get me to 11 under. Turn, turn. Yeah, see, I can putt at times. At times, probably 1 and 8. But I can do it at times. So, hole 17. I think I have managed to birdie this hole on every round so far. So, hopefully I can continue this and get to 12 under par. Just going to let the wind take us round here. I think I've went with a two wood on every other hole. No, I tell a lie. It's the exact same club and it always runs out short of this bunker the way I've lofted it up. About 300, 301 yards. There we go. So starting to learn the course from previous rounds. This should be bang on club to use here. Just going to loft it up one touch. Slope's going to take me round. And hopefully I can set up eagle opportunity here. That is a great strike. Depending on the bounce we get here, this should be close to the flag. Come on. 
This could drop. Get in. Get in. Oh, but it is going to be an easy eagle. And this will move us to 13 under. And we have matched our score from the third round. And that's really going to put us up the leaderboard. I am now 30 under tied 11th. I should have been really pushing at the top of this leaderboard if it wasn't for my patent and some poor rounds. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Final hole of this TGC Tours event at Burnham Gorse. It's another fantastic swing. Just threading the eye of the needle between these two bunkers here. Still going to have a lot of work. It's probably going to be a five, five iron, six iron into this green here. Oh no, I'm a lot closer. Wow. A lot closer. That's a tough pin. Just going to have to loft this up. That slope and wind are going to move me to the left. So lofting up this eight iron. Oh, I've pulled it. That's going to go way left. Horrible, horrible swing. It might kick on to the green. But I am going to have a lot of work to do now. I'm probably about 35, 40 feet away from the cup here. Lee, disappointed with that. And this cut is for a final round score of 58. So like John says, if I can drop this birdie, this would be for a 58, 34 footer. I'm going to take my time on this one because I really would like to shoot a 14 under final round here. But like I say, it just shows you what this game is doing. My second round, honestly, you see my scorecard. I really had doubts with my cell and I was thinking, what's the point and enter these events? I'm way off it. But then I came to life. I tell you what, if I hit this, it's got the line. Oh my goodness. So close yet so far away. And we are going to drop this two footer far apart for a final round of 59. Tied 11th, guys. Total of 38. Eight, eight under for the event. And there's a the scorecard. That is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for the continued support. And I love you all. Take care and peace out. Bye.